This is Wild Horse Lake, and this is a mountain, and this is moments before I attempted a hike 1,000 feet down to the edge of the lake. For those of you that don't know, this area is one of the emptiest places in the United States. It's one of Oregon's hidden gems, and it's called the High Desert. But you're probably wondering why I drove 1,000 miles from Denver to the middle of nowhere, Oregon, just to complete one hike. I'm about to be camping in the desert, hiking to the summit of Oregon's seventh largest mountain, alone. All before taking a second attempt at hiking down 1,000 feet to Wild Horse Lake, a hike that I wasn't brave enough to do in 2018 and have been regretting ever since. Here we are, Alvord Desert. So you can actually drive out on the uh, desert, which is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna camp there tonight. But unfortunately, a bunch of the smoke from some fires in Idaho kind of drop down like into this uh, onto the desert so I don't know how good the stars are gonna be tonight but it looks like we might have some chance of seeing some stars um, and it's also really really dark out here all right so I think I'm gonna pick a spot kind of over to the right here because it looks like there's nobody over there after finding a spot towards the edge of the desert I started by unpacking a few things and setting up the awning I brought to protect myself from the Sun but I had never set it up before and it was giving me some problems. So I decided to give in, read the directions, and finally got it set up. But by the time I got the car unpacked and the awning set up, the sun was already setting. Luckily I had a lawn chair with me, so I set it up a little ways away from the car and took a moment to take in the peace and silence as the sun set over the horizon. All right, well, the sun's finally gone down. Um, I don't have enough space in the back to sleep, so I think I'm just gonna have to sleep in the in the front seat. I kind of have a feeling it's gonna be a long night, honestly. Talk to you in the morning. There's my bed. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Despite the smoke from the nearby wildfires, I was still able to see the night sky filled with stars and got this photo before finally going to sleep. In the morning, I packed up the car and took some time driving around the desert as fast as I could. But after I had my fun, it was time to go to the next destination. This is my favorite place in the world. We're here, Steens Mountain. Um, so the trail up here leads to the mountain. It looks like the road is closed after that, so it doesn't do um, an entire loop, but it leads to the summit still, um, and we'll still be able to access the trail to uh, Wild Horse Lake. Um, so I think we're good. On the way to the Steens Mountain Summit, I passed by a branch off the main road that leads to an overlook for Kyger Gorge. Kyger Gorge is a huge, mile deep valley that was carved from the immense pressure from glaciers during the last ice age. It was only a quarter mile off the main road, so I decided to take a detour to hike the short trail that looped out to a point overlooking the valley. Returning back to the main road, it's a short drive to the Steens Mountain Trail and a short hike up to the summit. As you're hiking up, you have a great view of Wild Horse Lake below, and I took a moment to grasp just how far down I would have to hike to get to the bottom. So there's the trail for Wild Horse Lake. It goes all the way down to the lake there. So at the top here, they have this radio facility. I'm not sure exactly what it's used for. Um, I guess I could probably look it up, but they've got a sign saying that uh, radio frequencies may exceed the FCC public exposure limit or something like that. <laughs> so maybe I'll come back and I'll be Spider-Man. When I finally reached the top of the mountain, I could see for miles and miles around. I could see the desert, the lake, and the creek running down through the canyon between the mountains.
I could even see a dust devil in the distance. It was here that I realized that it was finally time to conquer the hike that I've been putting off for six years. But just as I was about to start the hike, something unexpected happened. It started raining. I'm supposed to hike down to Wild Horse Lake. I'm kind of debating that now because you could see that rain cloud behind me. Uh, it looks like it's pouring down there. And then kind of off on the right hand side, it's, it's actually kind of crazy because it looks like it's starting to rain like in a circle around me almost on this side, like a semicircle. Um, here, let me see if I could show you this other side. You can see it's starting to rain over there. So I did feel a couple droplets, um, and it's definitely getting windier, but it kind of looks like it's splitting off there, kind of at the gorge. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm not sure if it's such a good idea if I go down to this, if I go down there, that, um, because I'm going to be pretty trapped <laughs> if I, uh, if I go down there and, uh, it starts raining really hard. I do have an umbrella with me, but... Ah, dude, when am I gonna be here next, you know? Even if I get rained on. Oh, I felt another drop. Okay, wait, maybe I wait in the car. I don't know. There's people down at the lake, too. Ah, it's only a mile. I started my descent to the lake knowing that with each step down would meet another step up on the way out. The trail continued to wind down past wildflowers and creeks, and as the lake got closer and closer, the walls of the surrounding mountain started to rise around me. And after six years of waiting to get back to this remote spot in Oregon, I finally made it to the lake. But the sun was setting and I didn't want to get stuck at the bottom of the mountain in the dark and the rain. So after only spending about 15 minutes at the edge of the lake, I went back up the way I came, up out of the canyon. And just as I expected, the hike back up was 10 times harder than the hike down. But eventually, the path became less and less steep until finally I reached the top, knowing I could go home having this trail checked off my list. All right, we made it back to the car. Uh, very, very windy, but uh, totally, totally worth it. Thank you guys so much for coming on this hike with me. I have three more videos from this trip that should be coming out in the next week or two. One on OMG Airbnbs, one on hotels, and one about something fun I did out in the desert. So please subscribe to get notified about those upcoming videos. And if you did like this video, hitting the like button is a huge help to the channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.